Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and I was not planning on doing this video. I actually put myself on a book buying ban because as you see, most of these books behind me, I still need to read. So I was on a book buying ban, but we go to one local thrift store every single week because they are doing a program for kids where kids get a free book every week and they get a stamp and we go for Grace, my daughter, who is two. So we go there, we get her a book, we socialize with other parents, things like that. But anyway, they were having a $5 bag book sale when we went, so I couldn't help myself, especially finding some of the books that I found. So yeah, I broke that ban. And it is what it is. I got a bunch of good books here. Some of them I've never heard of and other ones I've been wanting for a while. So let's go through them. As you can see, I really, I stuffed this bag. Like it is completely stuffed. It, it's ripping, the handles are coming off. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't need these, but why not grab them, especially for so cheap? So I actually counted and I ended up getting 19 books. So they are about, tw I think it was 26 cents a piece, which you cannot beat. So I figured why not grab them, especially for such a good sale. I am back on my book buying ban and you guys will be seeing me more often doing like reading vlogs and stuff like that, especially with all of the books that I need to read. But anyway, let's get into what I picked up at this sale. So the first one being, it's called The Light Through the Leaves by Glendy Vendera. I had never heard of it, but the cover looks stunning. It looks like it had never been read. So I grabbed this one. The next one, this is an older one, but I figured why not grab it because it looked really interesting. And it is called Look For Her by Emily Winslow. There is the cover and on the bottom here, it says everyone loves a beautiful missing girl. So there's another one. Next we have, I've heard of this one. I haven't heard reviews about it, but I've heard of the title before. So I had to grab this one and it is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. The next two I have here on the top of the bag I have been looking for for a long time. I never thought I would find these two currently at a thrift store because they are talked about so often. And honestly, we got to this thrift store a while after it opened. So I was shocked that these were even still here. And that is The Flat Chair by Beth O'Leary. And it looks like it's never been read. So I was like super excited to see this. As soon as I saw this, I was like, hurry up, grab it. <laughs> I am so excited. This is gonna be one of my books this summer because I've never read a Beth O'Leary book. And I've heard absolutely phenomenal things about this one in particular. So I'm excited. This next one is the House Made by Frida McFadden. I recently read The Locked Door by Frida McFadden and I loved it. So I was super excited to find this one. Again, this one was one I never thought I would find at a thrift store currently just because of how popular it is and we haven't been going nearly as often. I, today, this is gonna be pre-recorded. I am 39 weeks and four days pregnant. So I am due here any day now. And you know, I just haven't been getting to thrift stores nearly as often. So yeah, I was kind of shocked that I even got out. We weren't even supposed to go today, but we ended up going and this is what I found. So I was happy about it, I'm excited. And then this next one I've also been looking for, you would hear me talk about it in another video. So I didn't think I would find this one either. I see other people find it, but I haven't been so lucky. So I grabbed another one from this author previously at another thrift store, but this one is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Again, this one's another popular one, so I'm excited to jump into that one. Then we have, this one's a little beat up, but I've seen and heard great things about it. And I want to read it and, you know, I got this whole bag for $5, so I couldn't pass it up. And that is In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Whenever I see this book at a thrift store, it's kind of really beaten up. So I figured I might as well grab it since I haven't been able to find one that's in good shape. The spine, you can see, is cracked. And then the pages are very yellowed. But it is what it is. There's You can't see this either because of the Oh, you can see a little bit down here, but because of the cover, you can't really see it very much, but there is like dents and there's lines and stuff in the cover, but it is what it is. 
Then we have another one that I have not read yet, but I've heard a lot of people talk about. I know this was a movie and it actually says it on the cover here and that is Water for Elephants. And this one's in really good shape. Usually I find this one also not in great shape, but this one was in great shape. So I had to grab it. Next we have one that's not in that great of shape. But I wanted to grab it and that is the Red Queen. I do already have another copy of this, but I figured if I like it, I would keep an extra copy on my shelf in case somebody else wanted to borrow it from me. So I picked this one up. You can see there, the cover's a little messed up. Then up top here, um, but the spine is literally perfect. So pick this one up. The next one I also have another copy of and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. Maybe I'll donate it to a little free library or collect a second set of these because I've heard people say that this is a good series. I know people like the first book better than the second, but that is After You. And again, this is in really great shape. Can't even tell it's been read. I'll take this sticker off. These stickers are great too because they don't leave any marks or anything. Take the sticker off and it is in really great shape. So there's that one. We're getting through the paperbacks here. The next one is The Lake House by Kate Morton. I have never heard of this one. I've seen the author. I think I recognize her name, but this seemed really intriguing to me. So I am super excited about this one. Now this one is a summer read and that is why I picked it up. So hopefully I get to it this summer. If not, it is what it is. But again, couldn't resist it during the sale. And that is Same Beach Next Year by Dorothea Benton Frank. And I have another one of her books in here actually as well. And then the last two paperbacks. This one is The Language of Sycamores by Lisa Wingate. And I have no idea what this one's about. I have no idea what most of these are about, but I've heard amazing things about Lisa Wingate. So I picked this one up. And then my last paperback here is Such a Perfect Wife by Kate White. Again, have no idea what this one is about, but it sounded intriguing. So I picked this one up as well. <laughs> Now getting into the hard covers. I picked this first one up. I love this book. I know it's very hit or miss for a lot of people, but I personally really love this book. I only have it in paperback currently, and I do see it often at the thrift store, but I don't wanna pay like $3.99 for it when I have the paperback. I'd rather just wait until I find it like a dollar, dollar twenty-five at some of the other thrift stores I go to. So I figured this was the perfect time to pick it up because I saw it, but the front cover ended up being damaged. I still might keep it. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm weird about certain things. And that is Where the Crawl Dead Sing by Delia Owens. I love this book, but as you can see down here, the cover, oh, I was so upset. I didn't even realize that when I put it in the bag. I realized it afterwards. There is also like some marks on here, but I can get that off really easily. But that was another one that I picked up. It's in really good shape. This next one has been at this thrift store for I don't even know how long. But every single time I go into this thrift store, I end up picking up this book and like looking at the description and looking at it and putting it back and then looking at it again and then putting it back. So I figured it's there. I'm going to grab it. It was meant to be. And that is my absolute darling. And the cover's gorgeous, but I figured it was meant to be since it was there yet again when I went. So pick that one up. And then this next book in here is the other one by Dorothea Benton Frank. And I've seen this one at other thrift stores as well. And I figured I might as well pick it up. And that is by invitation only. And the cover is just gorgeous. I love the gold foil on this one. So I now have two books by her. So we'll see how I like her writing. Then I was hesitant to pick this one up, but I couldn't leave without it. If you guys have seen, I have recently read The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand, and I was so excited to get into her books. And for some reason, that book was just not for me. But I saw this one there by Ellen Hildebrand, and I had to pick it up because I don't have it yet. And you know, it's so cheap, so why not? And I'm gonna give her another try. I have other ones of her books, but I heard this one in particular is also really good. And I'm hoping this one is really good for me. <laughs> so that one is Golden Girl by Ellen Hildebrand. As you can see here, it's in perfect condition. 
So I'm gonna give her work another try. If you guys have liked her books, let me know down below which one you liked the best. I know a lot of people say the Hotel Nantucket, it just, it wasn't for me because I'm super curious and I do want to get into some of her other books, but I don't know where to start and I don't want to pick up another one I don't like and then be completely swayed not to read her at all. So let me know in the comments down below. And this is the last book and I was excited to see this one. If you guys have been around here, I do like historical fiction. I would not have considered myself a historical fiction fan previously but I do really like historical fiction. And this next one is The Postmistress of Paris. And it is a book of the month book. It does have the little logo there, which you guys know I'm not very fond of, but it is what it is. And I was completely shocked to see this there. And I was also shocked to see that this one also comes with everything that came with the book. So I was super excited to pick this one up as well. That is my last one that I got at the sale. So guys, those were the 19 books I got at this $5 book sale. I was completely shocked going in there that they even had the sale. I saw the sign on the front door as we were going in and I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm on a book buying ban, but you know, I can't pass this up. So that is what I ended up getting. And I'm actually really happy I went because I don't see these sales very often. I see a lot of people on TikTok and whatnot go through the books they got at their local $5 bag sale. And I was like, I've never seen one of those around here. So I was in complete shock when I saw it today. But those are the books I got. Thanks guys for sticking with me. Let me know down below, have you read any of these? Do you like any of these? Did you not like any of these? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys for sticking with me. I will see you guys soon.